China's economy keeps rolling along. According to the latest statistics, it grew at a blockbuster rate of 10.3 percent in 2010, with growth accelerating in the fourth quarter compared to the numbers in the period from July to September. Ma Jiantang heads the National Bureau of Statistics in Beijing. On the one hand, the size of our economy is growing with great stability. On the other hand, there is still a lot of work that needs to be done to improve the quality of our economic growth. On the downside, many analysts believe China's economy remains dangerously dependent on investment in real estate and construction. Such spending shot up nearly 24 percent last year compared to the year before. Significant, even though 2009 had seen an even bigger jump, fueled by stimulus moves to counter the global financial crisis. There are also continued worries about inflation. Surges in prices for food and other basic necessities are hitting many Chinese families hard. Overall, the inflation rate of 4.6 percent in December was down somewhat from a November peak, but still came in higher than expected. Ma acknowledged it presents the government with a big challenge in the coming year. In 2011, the price trends cannot be taken lightly because there is still room for us to control inflation. And there are huge expectations for CPI increases. China's inflation worries sent Asian stock markets tumbling Thursday. The benchmark Shanghai index slumped nearly three percent. And although Beijing may be hailing what it views as President Hu Jintao's triumphant state visit to the U.S., others may be focusing more on whether China's efforts to control its inflation will crimp growth in a world increasingly dependent on Chinese demand. Karen Sloan, The Associated Press.